Howdy folks. Uh, here we've got the Earth Tools buck rake attached to a Grillo G110 tractor. This buck rake implement will fit any of our larger walk-behind tractors that have a uh, differential on the, on the axle. Uh, so the buck rake is a tool for gathering hay. It's kind of just a big pitchfork that you're pushing around with a walk-behind tractor. These things are pretty popular in Europe. Uh, not too many of them sold in this country, but as small-scale hay production for small-scale livestock raising becomes more popular, tools like this are gaining in popularity. Uh, we also sell the hay rake and hay baler to fit this machine. And if, you're, if your hay operation is, is large enough that it entails, you know, or that it warrants having a baler and spending that extra money, great. But if you're doing a small plot of hay and just need to gather something, uh, you know, with the tractor, rather than going out and shoveling up your hay by hand off the, or pitchforking your hay off the ground by hand, this is a, a cheaper way to do it. So um, we've got an angle adjustment built into it here. You can cock this at various angles. And you'll notice that when I start down through here, I'm going to cock this thing kind of at the maximum forward angle. That may be a little too far, actually. I'll try it like that just to get the, those, the tines down as close to the ground as possible. As you can see, the front of the tines are actually sharpened with the angle on the bottom. We did that so that the tines would not gouge into the ground so badly. We figured if we had an angle like this going forward, you hit any little hillock in the ground or whatever, you're just gonna gouge right into the soil, and we didn't want that, so we put the angle on the bottom. But then tilting it forward to get that forward point a little closer to the ground keeps the hay from rolling under the thing so badly. There'll be times when you uh, when you may see me back up, like I'm pushing some hay, gathering it up on there, and all of a sudden I stop and back off that hay and then go forward again. That's because I'll notice as I go along that some of the hay starts to actually come underneath it. So some of the hay, you know, the tractor's driving over it and I'm leaving it behind, and I know that at that point. E at it, each one of these points, or some of them, has some hay like wrapped around it like this, and it's just deflecting the other hay under it. So in that case, just back off, start forward again, and get under that hay again. But it still works a heck of a lot faster than a pitchfork. So once I get to the end, this is a pretty long run here, so about one full run here fills up the rake pretty, pretty full. So then I'll cock it back to the transport angle and come around and dump the hay off here. So I'm going to operate the tractor probably in second gear, maybe third gear. We'll try it in a couple different speeds here.
on that last pass. So I was missing some hay here because the forks were just too full. We'll take another swipe and pick that up. As you can see, it's a lot faster than a pitchfork. And uh, the hill wasn't working with me too there, too well there. It was kind of rolling downhill. But that was sort of demonstrating how you can leave a pile and then come back from the other side and get it if you need to. But once you learn the nuances of it and how to, you know, use the features it has to your advantage, it's a nice way to gather hay. Thanks for watching.